I finally did it, y'all. I quit. I quit my job, my day job. Feeling, uh, just getting over a cold, so that's why my voice is kind of funny, but yeah, I did it. And I'm getting ready to pursue new things. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be scary, but it's a beautiful day. It's a little over 50 degrees in New England. And uh, that's a nice day for winter in the middle of February. It's February 10th, Friday. And today is the beginning of a whole new fresh start. So it's time for a fresh start. We're gonna make a fresh start here. Uh, time to pursue my passions full time. And uh, my last day of my day job was yesterday. They sent me off a, um, they sent me off actually with a uh, little party, a little going away party. We went bowling, that was really fun. And so it's kind of nice, you know, been there for 15 years, but now it's time to start a new chapter. <laughs> and like I said, it's not, you know, it's, it's a little bit nerve, nerve wracking, a little bit, you know, worrisome but at the same time a lot of it exciting so it's gonna be good stuff um, and I'll get a little bit more into it shortly so not only have I taken the plunge to quit my day job but I'm quitting some other things as well I guess in general the biggest thing I'm quitting is pressure um, I'm quitting the pressures of social media. Uh, I'm quitting the pressures of best practices to appease an algorithm. I'm quitting trying to stick to a content schedule and the prospect of content in general over the prospect of creativity and art. I'm quitting listening to too many sources of advice while ignoring my gut and instinct to create the way that is natural to me. I'm quitting the idea of presenting a polished version of myself without blemish. I'm quitting codependency with an audience or the idea of building a following and community. And Last but not least, I'm quitting the pressure of turning my creativity into a career. There's other things that are probably part of this that I'm quitting as well. Um, but basically the point is I'm quitting unhealthy practices for what feels much more healthy to me. Um, you know, as a person and as a, as an artist. So the thing is, is technology has presented us with so many advantages, uh, but we can't ignore the disadvantages and the unhealthy habits that come because of it. Uh, before social media, I dreamed of creative ideas that I'd like to do uh, if I just had the resources. And some of these creative ideas, you know, they, they didn't really have a lot to do with building a following necessarily. They were just the art for art's sake, you know, creating something that expands on what I've seen from other creators that builds off of that, that, you know, moves into new directions, explores new territory. These things were exciting to me. And um, when social media came along, that felt exciting as well because it's like, oh, now I have, I have a, a means to share that in a way that could actually become possibly something sustainable for me. Uh, I, I have had the dream uh, pretty much my whole life of 
turning my creativity into a career. Um, and, you know, in some ways that dream hasn't fully gone away. But I'm noticing that the pressure of that, that last dream of, of creating a career out of this has, uh, I feel like, hindered my creative progress and kind of stunted the actual art that comes out of me, you know? Um, like I said, I want to create art for art's sake. I want to share my creativity because it's a joy to share and take part in the community of creators and humans in general. You know, I want to share the feelings that I have. I want to share the thoughts I have. I want to share just the exploration that is fun, you know, just fun in general. Like, and I don't want to feel like I have to create a specific kind of content to share that, you know. I just want to be me and sometimes be it in public and sometimes be it in private and be content with both. Um, I want to share helpful tips freely without feeling like I have to. So, you know, I'm quitting the things that are unhealthy, uh, that are full of wishful expectations for hopefully more healthy practices. I'm not going to be a slave to the algorithm anymore. And, you know, when it comes down to it, I haven't. It's not like I have always been a slave to the algorithm. I've been fighting these things throughout my whole process of trying to build these kind of things. You know, none of this stuff is like black and white. It's hard to, you know, just uh, to kind of separate all this stuff. But I'm certainly moving more towards this way of thinking and acting and conducting myself. Um, I'm moving forward with just being the creative person I was created by God to be with no pressures and strings attached. I'm going to make exactly what I want to make and share exactly what I want to share when I want to share it. Uh, I, you know, I've learned a lot in therapy in the past about, you know, tendencies of codependency. And uh, that was more had to do with my personal life and relationships. But it also has to do with professional and creative and, and really everything, you know. And uh, I certainly don't want to have learned these lessons and then find out I'm being codependent with my creativity as well. It's not healthy any way you slice it to be codependent. It is healthy to be independent, but also together. Interdependence is, is the term that, that's used, I guess. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you retain yourself while working together with others. That's, that's basically the idea from what I understand. Um, and it does feel much more healthy to think in that manner, in my opinion. So as I'm making exactly what I want to make and sharing what I want to share when I want to share it, I may get to a point where, you know, some of these things become more of a career at some point. But that's not, that's not, uh, I'm not putting that pressure on myself anymore. If it does happen, I'll consider it a bonus and I'll be grateful, you know. But uh, just the act of exploration and creativity and sharing alone is enough for me. This feels healthy. And I'm thankful that I can enjoy this creative journey with all of you as well. So let's get to making the vision in our hearts a reality. 
separate yet together at the same time without the pressures that lead us to unhealthy lives. Um, so here on, on YouTube, on my channel, I'll be doing whatever I feel inspired to do. You know, uh, there will be updates. I'm starting 100 days of making comics once again, as of today. Um, I'm going to do that privately and sometimes publicly if I feel like it, I'll give you updates, you know, and, and I think, you know, that's something that I enjoy doing. Um, I may do semi daily videos, but if I don't have a daily video, I'm not gonna, um, I'm, I'm gonna be okay with that. If I go for a week without doing a video, I'm gonna be okay with that. Sometimes I might do a live stream. Sometimes I might do this or that, whatever. And there might be tips and tutorial type things. I don't know, but, uh, it's gonna be fun and I'm just gonna enjoy being on this journey with you guys. Uh, now I said I quit, you know, my job and it's not to pursue creative endeavors. It's to pursue a new career that is independent from the creative stuff. The creative stuff is just what it is. It's, it's something that has to be because it's who I am, you know, uh, but I'm pursuing, um, full-time, uh, classes in, um, full-time school in programming, coding, you know, uh, computer science. So that's, that's what my career is. I'm planning to be and hoping for it to be. And I'm going to be working very hard. That's, that's going to become my day job. Uh, but there's no reason that while I do that and focus very intensely on that, there's no reason why I can't take 30 minutes a day or more to work on my comic projects. So I got some stuff lined up, things I'm going to be working on with comics, and you guys will hear more about it um, as I go because I enjoy coming on YouTube and doing videos. I enjoy doing daily videos almost more than I enjoy doing, you know, a specific schedule and trying to hit the algorithm and, and I, I enjoy doing daily videos sometimes more than doing weekly videos. There's something about it. That's just fun to me, you know? Uh, so as long as it's fun, I'm going to do it, but it's going to be, again, it, it probably won't be every day, but it'll be like, you know, here and there as, as I'm inspired. Uh, so you can look forward to more content just because, I enjoy making content, you know, but I'm going to not let that get in the way of me just creating something awesome. And then you guys will see the comics I make and, you know, we can share, still share a whole heck of a lot. <laughs> um, I, I'll also be uh, updating my Instagram more, most likely with the updates, probably more on Instagram, just, you know, pictures of, of whatever I'm working on, uh, even more than, than here on YouTube. I don't know. We'll see. Well, whatever shape it takes is the shape it's going to take. Um, so my, my Instagram is Marsh is at Marsh makes comics as well. Just, just like, you know, this YouTube channel. And, um, another way you can uh, keep up to date with what I'm doing is going to be my email list. I'm going to be trying to focus more on my website and more on my email list than on social media. I feel like social media, while I, I enjoy it, I want it to be something I only enjoy. And if it feels like too much pressure, I'm not going to make myself do updates, you know, on social media just to appease an algorithm that serves, you know, the people who have created the social media platform um, more than it serves people who create art. I'm not here to make content. I'm here to make art. And, uh, you know, again, I, I hope to uh, enjoy doing that with my friends, you guys and gals. So, uh, Hopefully you dig this. Hopefully um, you enjoy hearing and seeing the journey. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys create as well. 
let's uh let's make art and not content i feel like i've been created to be creative and so have you so let's do just that all right have a great day and i'll be talking